Hey guys, my name is Mike, and uh, here's a video about how to replace the coolant expansion tank on a uh, G63. This is a 2013 model W463. I don't know if the expansion tanks are similar or different on uh, other ones, but I'll just make a quick video on how to uh, replace this one. It's a pretty straightforward process. What I'm going to use is I'll have got my little vacuum extractor here. Uh, I'll use that to suck the coolant out of the tank. And we've got a uh, new tank here from Mercedes. I think there are aftermarket ones you can get too that, that are about half the price. But I mean, for this one being about 120 bucks, I think it's worth getting a, a new Mercedes tank. And uh, I've also got a new cap. Now my old cap, I don't think I had any issues with it, but I figured since I'm replacing the tank, I'll replace the cap also. The cap was about 50 bucks. So we'll go ahead and uh, get this coolant extracted out from the old tank. And uh, then we'll go over how to uh, pull the uh, pull the old tank out and put the new one in. It should be pretty straightforward. So if you take a look at the tank itself, you can see that it looks like there's a couple of tabs in the back here that hold it in. Then we've got this some sort of a valve here that's uh, plugged into the hose on the bottom. And there's also another hose at the bottom of the tank itself, which we can probably disconnect once we pull the tank out. So first things first, let's get this uh, coolant extracted out and uh, we'll go from there. So I think I got most of the coolant out, if you take a look inside it's pretty much empty. So now we can go ahead and uh, start disconnecting all the lines and getting a tank out. So to get this top line off, it looks like we just gotta pull this clip up. We need a pick for it. We've got this line out. Next, we'll take this electrical connector off. Or we can take this whole thing off, actually. Now to get the tank itself off, it looks like we need to pry these two tabs back and, uh, and then just lift up. So what I'll probably do is I'll get a screwdriver. It'll help me push the tabs back as I lift the tank off. So once we get the tank out of its mount there, you just push these tabs back and then you lift up. Now on the bottom you see there's an electrical connector, I'm assuming that's for the temperature sensor. And then we have the one hose on the bottom. So we'll undo the connector and uh, get, get a pair of pliers and get that hose clamp off and get that hose off.
right, so we got the old tank out here. As you can see, it's all covered in the, in old coolant. So a little bit of coolant still left in there. So let's get this new one out of the bag. So this new one's identical, comes with everything. This temperature sensor is built in. And it actually comes with a new uh, rubber nipple here that's used to secure it to the car. So we'll pull the old one out and uh, we'll use the new one. So we'll also clean up all this uh, dried up coolant down here. So this is the rubber piece that we need to take out. We have a new one. that and then we'll go ahead and uh, clean all this up And then we can get our new tank and uh, we can get the hose on. Get the hose clamp back in place. And then we'll just push it back into out and then we'll push this end down and clip it in okay and then we'll put the wire back and we'll push this back on where it's supposed to sit oh and we forgot our electrical connector but we can get it from here safety clip back in and push this back on and then we'll put this little hose back in also and that's that so that's pretty much it okay so I've got some coolant in there I'm gonna just top it off with water because it was uh, concentrate and uh, we'll put our New cap back on. And that's it. We're all done. Since I've got water in here, what I'll do is I'll just pour some down to kind of get anything I missed, any coolant that we spilled, just wash it off. That way, uh, leave white residue again so that's it we're all done it's pretty pretty easy about about a 10 minute job to replace the coolant expansion tank not sure what Mercedes would charge for this but um, all in all it cost me about less than $200 in parts and uh, a jug of coolant and that's it